Nakakatawa yung sabi ako na sabi niya, hindi ako wife material. Lagi husband material. Baka di na talaga ako magkaasawa sa mga <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Making It Happen and I am back again with another transformation videos. I know you guys miss these kinds of videos and I am here to show you one project that we just recently finished. If you notice, the outside is a little bit messy because that's another contractor. They still do. Nakalimutan ng um, worker ko to install this painting on the wall. So we're gonna be the ones to do it. And we're hitting two birds with one stone. I'm also gonna teach you how to use a drill. For you girls who wanna be strong, independent woman, na hindi na kayo kukunan gaya na, pakabit po sa wall, please. <laughs> we are self-reliant. Okay, so there are different kinds of drills out there. What I know is like three kinds. So this is an industrial one. It's a hammer drill. So it means that it has that force to push towards the wall, para madaling mag bore into a concrete wall. There's a standard drill that is used for screws and for hammer, but it's not advisable because it's madaling masira kapag sa standard drill ka na ginamit mo sa concrete. And then the third one is called a portable drill. Yun naman yung um, hindi desaksak, the battery lang siya and pang screw lang yun. And pag yun ang ginamit mo pang pader. Isang gamitan lang yun, sira na. <laughs> so today we're gonna use this one para madali natin magamit. So, here's a drill. And this is where you're gonna attach your drill bit. This is a concrete bit. And this is mainly used for concrete. You can see that it's a wide-pointed um, kind of bit. This one, this other one that I borrowed from the store. This is for metal. Iba yung, yung dulo niya. So that's a difference. So we install that here. Just put it there and then... Can you see it? You just close it up. Higpitan mo lang. And then you take this. And then higpitan mo lang siya. Hanggang mahigpit na mahigpit na. Kasi you don't want it to loosen pag ginamit mo. Kasi pag maluwag siya, hindi siya magbobore into the wall. Kaya kailangan mahigpit. So here are the parts of the drill. Meron dito arrows showing you if you press this one towards the wall. And then the other side, pabalik. If gusto mo nang ilabas yung drill. So that's that. Then we, this is how, what you use to control it. So the next thing you have to know is a screw and some tooks. Sakto pala nang pumanigira ka. So this one, this is used for the concrete wall kasi you can't directly put this on the wall. Kasi pag nilagay mo yan sa pader, since cemento siya, malalaglag siya ulit. So this is used para para siyang spacer na pag nilagay mo siya on the wall, tight siya. And hindi siya lalabas. Ang nabili actually is medyo mahaba. Two, dapat one lang. So the next thing we have to do is to make sure we don't make a mess. And I do this, this is my own personal trick. Walang nagsabi na gawin ko. But this is what I do. I take a piece of bond paper. I fold it in half. Do you see it? Kita ba? And then to the sides like that. And just tape it with masking tape. Some people don't like doing this because it's my effort. Mas my effort kaya guys magwalis ng alikabok. Saluhin yun na lang. Saluhin yung alikabok. So, yeah. so you have this little pocket. 
that you used to put on the wall. Okay, so now we're gonna mark our painting on the wall. When you want to drill on the wall, make sure you have um, a good force sa katawan mo. So, dapat parang shoulder, nasa shoulder mo yung drill pa naman. Kasi pag bagay niya, wala na lakas. So, when you plug it in, make sure um, it's not being pressed down or anything kasi bigla na kaandal. Make sure the arrow is pointing towards the wall. And then you try it out. So, you see my... Umiikot siya. Ibig sabihin, nag-wobble siya. Ibig sabihin, hindi mahigpit yung pagkakabit ko. There. So, when you're scared to try it on the wall, don't worry if um, takot ka mapunta siya sa'yo and kill yourself, it won't happen. It's just at the wall. Make sure you put ample force on the wall. Ganyan lang. So, you know where you're gonna drill. And then you push once you're ready. So that's how you try it out on the wall. Now we're gonna put our makeshift pang salona dume. So we put it right below the area that we wanna drill. And make sure it's opened up a bit. Super flat dapat dito. Tapos ito siya. Bukas. So that when you drill, all the mess goes in there. When you want to pull out your drill, just don't do it basa basa. You have that arrow, napa backward. Put that. So there! So there! Once you have your tooks on the wall, you just have to use your screw. As I said before, I'm not going to do it lang. This is dos. Uh, let's see, let's see what it looks like if we put it on it. So, it's so big. Oh, so, since you have that paper pangsalo, so look at all the dirt that you saved from going everywhere. Let's see if it's on the side because there's no metro. Let's do our best. There you have it, guys and girls. You are now able to hang your own painting in your house. Just buy a drill. I suggest Maxell brand. It's really nice. Sponsored. Baka naman. <laughs> so there. I'm going to show you how to decorate the living and dining room next. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I decorate the dining table. It's just going to be very simple. Uh, the client really didn't buy much accessories, so we're gonna try our best and design this table. So you can see that you um, there's a frame, gold frame, on the glass. And we're gonna try and cover that up with this one to somehow make it look a little bit more put together. So you can get these runners from our home. What you do is you decide what to put in the center. You could do leveling um, or a fruit bowl. So what I have is a fruit bowl. So these are actually apples. It looks like really real. We had these at our house and my sister Andy bit into one of these. <laughs> it was super funny because it looks so real. So you can put this to add a touch of color in your dining area. So now we're going to put up the carpet. Since it's really small, it has to be away from the sofa, but in the center. So we're just going to borrow from these shelves what to use.
Ang katawa yung sabi ako na sabi niya, hindi ako wife material. Lagi husband material. Baka di na talaga ako magkaasawa sa mga. Huwag naman natin i-curse pala yung sarili natin. Mag-aaral ako maging wife if I find the right person. Okay? So there you have it guys. I know you missed these kinds of videos so much. Another home makeover for you where I taught you how to use power tools and decorate your space. Though it may be simple, I'm gonna do a more in-depth one soon. And I'm so sorry I haven't done videos like this for a long time. I've been super busy with all my ventures like my cafe and my hostel. But don't worry, I have more videos coming up for you soon. And thank you guys so much for your support. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button. And follow me on Instagram at Chila Salvador. And if you want your home to Designed and constructed by Madhouse Design Studio. Email us at madhousedesignstudio at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!